Now when I when I show a video with just a random like visual like what the fuck why is he showing Nike sandals? It's because I'm about to tell a story about something that happened in my life. And when you get a, like a, a a video where I drop some education or some knowledge, you're going to have footage of something. Like when I did the KFC, that kind of stuff. And when I did the one about the Godfather and all that. And there'll probably be some music playing in the back. But this one is something that happened. This is a story that happened to me. There was a cat that was running for lieutenant governor in the 2016 election. And um, we used to be friends in high school. But we're not friends now. We weren't friends until this incident. And we probably never will be friends. His name is Lamar Gunn. He's a Republican. He's a Q. And I don't know if you listen to all my videos. I do not like fraternity motherfuckers. Never did. Anyway. He's running for lieutenant governor. He was. He lost, thank God. Um, my father is a politically connected guy. So, you know, he reached out to my dad. I think he saw my dad down Longshoreman. So my dad tells me to give him a call. I knew he was running, so I'm thinking, okay, there's something in it for me. Listen, don't have friendships unless it benefits you. Now, it don't mean a monetary thing or anything. It could be a heartfelt conversation, just a genuine concern for each other. That's a beneficial friendship. But if it's somebody that really ain't your friend, you make sure you're getting something out of them. Okay? Period. So, I called him up, and he asked me to help him with his campaign. And I basically was like, yeah, I'll help you, but nigga, am I going to get a job? And he kind of talked around it, but he didn't He didn't say no, but he didn't say yes. I should have did that Marcellus Wallace shit in um, Pulp Fiction. In the fifth, your ass goes down. Say it. You know what I mean? Nigga, if you get elected, you're going to give me a job. Say it. So it comes out your mouth so I can be like, yo, you said it and you reneged on it. But anyway, so I went... And hung up some signs and talked to people randomly. Basically, I mean, I didn't know what his issues were or anything because I, I just didn't, I didn't bother to look into it. I was basically focused on, yo, if this nigga gets in, in, the, in the White House, but if he gets elected down in Dover, I'm going to get a job, a good job. So that was basically what I was telling people. People that I knew, I'd be like, yo, vote for this cat, man. He promised me a job. Now think about that. I'm expecting people to vote for me. I mean, to vote for somebody that they don't like. Nobody likes Lamar Gunn. Nobody, I mean, people don't like this dude. They just, they never did, and they don't now, especially now that he's a millionaire. That gives people a reason not to like him when you're an asshole. People have never liked this cat. But anyway... So I'm telling people to vote for a cat that they don't like. If they know him, they don't like him. So that I get a job? Nigga, get the fuck out of here. That's what I'd have said if somebody said that bullshit to me. But I was saying it. And that was pretty much my campaign pitch for him. So anyway, it gets. this is where it gets good. My car got stolen. And I told him about it because I wouldn't be able to, you know, ride around and, you know, drum up him some campaign votes. First thing out his mouth was, did you get the push cards out of there? Which are basically the cards with his face and political aspirations and basically a, a, a brief biography of who he is. So I'm looking at the phone like, this nigga worried about some push cards and I tell him my, my car got stolen? So anyway, the police found the car. Uh, everything was in it. The push cards were in it. They did take... I had a couple pair of Nike sandals that they took out of there. I had some weed in there. They took that too. So anyway, the car was missing for about 10 days. And when I got it back, I called him. He didn't answer his phone. I text him. You know, thank God I found my car back. I got my car back. The nigga never responded. So then I started thinking, yo, this nigga don't give a fuck about you, man. You, you talking about your car is stolen. This nigga worrying about his fucking push cards. 
So I, it, and then I, it dawned on me how I've never been to his house. We've never got gotten up as friends. Never. Nothing like that. And I just started seething with anger. Now, I'm going to let, I mean, none of y'all really know me, but my personality kind of comes through with the videos I make. I'm going to let y'all guess what I did. A, I just let it go and said, you know what, fuck them. B, called him on the phone and told him, cussed him out, didn't appreciate, told him I didn't appreciate what he, what he did and all that. Or C, got up at 6 in the morning, drove to his campaign headquarters, and threw his push cards all out in the middle of the street, took the signs that I put in people's yard, and put them in trash cans all throughout Wilmington. Uh, let me give you an idea of how much nobody likes this nigga. I've never seen a political campaign poster defaced where you, you know, where you uh, black the teeth out and poke the eyes out. I've never seen that before. That, that goes to show you how much people don't like this cat. So, like I said, you know what I did. Threw them push cards out in the middle of his he campaign headquarters. And he knew I did it because I was the only one minionized enough to help this motherfucker. I told you people didn't like him. People don't like him. And what makes it even worse in high school, he was a nobody, right? This nigga used to, there would be times, there were two times in particular where I had it set up where I was going to go to this girl's house after school and you know what I was going to do. And this nigga tagged along. And I didn't have a strong enough personality to be like, yo, nigga, why the fuck do you want to come with me when I'm going to go over to some girl's house to get some sex? Why do you want to come? Because he thought he was going to get some too. So he was basically piggybacking off of me trying to get girls. The one time I went there, the girl was like, why'd you bring him? And I didn't get anything. The second time it happened, when I knocked on the door, the girl looked out the peephole and saw two people, saw me and somebody else and didn't answer the door because she told me about it the next day. So, and I remember when he was, he was, he was uh, going online, he was online at Dell State going over at the probate and he was like, yo man, I need you to cheer me on while I do my stepping and all this. Be like, yeah, Mar, do that shit, boy. I said, yeah, all right, all right. And when he went out there, I ain't say shit, man. Fuck him. So anyway, um, that's the point I'm making. Don't do shit for somebody unless there's something in it for you. We both. I was wrong too to help this nigga out, to try to help him out, to help him get elected when he had he didn't have my best interest at heart. So we both were trying to use each other. I'm just glad he didn't win because, in all honesty, the lieutenant governor only makes about eighty thousand a year. And I remember thinking to myself, because I thought lieutenant governors made like more like 150, and I would take half of that, which would be 75, no less than 75. But half of 80,000 is only $40,000. I'm, I'm doing better than that now, and then I don't have to. See, here's the thing. In four years, I'd be worried about him getting elected again so I can keep working. But then after the second term, i got to find somewhere else to work. Nah. Now where I'm working now, I get to travel on their dime. They pay me, you know, pretty good. I don't have to deal with people, shake their hands, and pretend to like motherfuckers that I don't like. I could never be in politics, never. But anyway, that's the point I'm making. Like, uh, don't let people use you, man, because they might make promises and not fulfill them. Or they'll show you that they didn't give a fuck about you in the first place. Later.